I mean, the fight lived up to the hype. Um, Ortiz, you know, you, 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 you got to get uh, take your hats off to him. He's, he's definitely one of the most dangerous men um, in the heavyweight division. As I always say, that's why none of these other heavyweights do not want to fight him. And I keep, and, I, and he proved that tonight. You know, um, hopefully, you know, they'll give him an opportunity now. Maybe they see a little kinks in this, in, in this game and, and give him the opportunity and, and that he truly deserved. Um, but I, I really had to, uh, I really had to be smart with him. Um, we knew that coming in, we knew that in training camp. Um, I went back and looked at videos and, and see what I was doing right and what I did wrong. I looked at video and I uh, looked and, and saw what he did right and what, what he did wrong. And, you know, we put a game plan together and uh, it was an amazing, amazing fight. I saw the opportunity, I took it. And my statement, and I said, these guys have to be perfect for me for 12 rounds. I have to only be perfect for two seconds. Um, it, it's legit. I proved that tonight as well. Um, what else can I say? We're still undefeated. We still have our belt. And now we move on to the next phase and chapter in my life. I'm looking to be undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. One chapter, one phase, one name. I'm on the pursuit of that. And I'm getting closer and closer <clears throat> each and every time. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, two questions for you. You were, you were trailing on all three scorecards at the time that you scored the knockout. And I wonder, as the fight is progressing, are you thinking to yourself, you know, I'm probably using this fight at the moment, but I have that great equalizer if you have one shot? Or were you losing the fight and kind of upset the fact that you're losing the fight? I mean, to be honest, I, I, never, I never worry about if I'm losing the fight or not. You know, I'm blessed with something that these other guys are not blessed with. And uh, that's tremendous power. <clears throat> and I know that <clears throat> I know that when I hit guys, you know, it, 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 it hurts them. So when you have power like I have, you know, you, you're not worried about if you're winning rounds or not. I don't, I don't want that to be in my mind whether I'm winning a round or not. You know, and um, because I don't want my mind to be cloudy, you know, thinking about the rounds and the rounds. You know, most of the time these guys win rounds on me anyway. You know, but I know that sooner or later, you know, it's gonna come, and when it come, bam, baby, good night, like I always say. The other question for you is this. Uh, there's been some chatter in the press that I want to hear you guys are coming out here, and uh, people on social media, et cetera, saying, you know, after seeing a knockout like that and all the knockouts that you've had, that maybe Deontay Wilder is the greatest knockout puncher in the history of boxing. What is your thought when you hear people even broke the knockout? What do you think? You know, I mean, at this point in time, you know, you, you, you gotta give me my credit at this point in time. I mean, it's sad that it took me over 40 fights to, to, to get the recognition that I truly deserve. Because when people see me, they never see my style. And I know it, take, it took a, a, a while for them to, to get used to what I, what I display, my talent that I, I present to boxing. But it's different than any other fighter. What I, does, it, what I do is not te textbook, you know. Uh, you can't really teach it. And I think that's, that was makes me unique. That was differentiating me from the rest of these fighters. Like I said, you know, none of these guys not willing to fight guys 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds and still not guys out like that. And at this point in time, my, you know, I, I, I think I earned my, my due respect and my credit, you know, um, to, to say that I am, one, I am the hardest hitting puncher in boxing history, period. And, um, and I earned that. And uh, over and over again, continuously, consistently, I, I do what I do time and time again, give people uh, great fights and great knockouts, and try to fight the best. And still, when I fight the best, do it. This always reminds me back with Emmanuel Stewart, you know, once said that, you know, he told me personally that, uh, you know, he said you're fighting all opposition right now. But even when you move up into the you know so-called top, when people say the top, you're still gonna knock them out. He told me that personally, and um, and um, and I'm, I'm I'm fulfilling that what he told me. So uh, um, oh, may uh, may he rest in peace. Deontay over here. Uh, the person who actually was crediting your power as Tyson Fury's trainer, Ben Davison, but he also said that he saw a couple of holes in your game that they plan on exposing in the next fight. Considering that Fury uh, was outboxing in the first match, 
how do you go with a different game plan in the second fight considering uh, the circumstances? Well, you know, each and every fight, every, every fighter, you know, every, every time a person fight, they, you know, that's the same. We see different holes, we see different things. You're not going to be perfect in the fight, no one is. Uh, so, you know, I hope we took notes and carried it back. You know, to this camp because I'm not figure out like I did the first time. <laughs> Point blank period. And, and you know, so I'm not I'm not worried about anything that anyone says. You know, I'm cool. You know, these guys, if, if they were so if they were so sure about certain things and if they seen so much, he would have took the rematch immediately. I'm not running here running around doing a hundred thousand things. I was the one that demanded the rematch as soon as possible, especially when it was a controversial um, decision. I'm the one fighting the top, the best of the best in the division. I don't see no other fighters uh, risking any fights. Last time I checked, Fury only had two, 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 two big fights on his resume. That's that's uh, 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 a win against Klitschko and a uh, knockout against me. And the last two was against you know up and coming fighters. Look at me, I, I, I'm putting my, my title on the line each and every time. And I'm only getting better and better and better with the timing and the setting of these fighters. So uh, come February, I hope they're ready because I'm ready. You know, I'm in great shape. Uh, this is gonna be a quick turnaround for me. I haven't done this in a, in a, since the beginning of my career. And this is gonna make me better. You know, fighting the opposition that I'm fighting, you know, going in often and getting ready to go back in uh, February again. So um, I wish those guys good luck. I hope you took a lot of notes and, um, because I'm ready. Thank you, Frank. Congratulations on the win. Um, first question, have you ever hit any one person harder with one punch than you hit uh, Ortiz tonight? And if you have, who was it? When people ask me which one is my favorite knockout, I always go back to the Spuka. Knockout. I think that was the most devastating knockout that I've ever hit a, a fighter with. Uh, 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 hit a, uh, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I never seen nothing like that. I really thought I killed you at that point of time. And when you hit a guy like that and he come out of the hospital, so he got the hospital gown on, you know something. <laughs> you know that was a, a, a good night for me and a bad night for him. But, I mean, I'm always amazed at my, myself when I knock guys out, you know, when I go back and see it, I'm always amazed at what I've done, you know, although I'm, you know, I am the one that's doing it, but it don't, it don't register in my head at that moment in time until I go back and actually when he really sees it. I mean, no one is doing what I'm doing, you know, with devastating knockouts like that. That's what I give the people, devastating knockouts. And to see the reaction of the body when they hit the canvas, is just unbelievable. You know, so uh, I'm just I'm just happy to be in this division, the heavyweight division, um, where it once was in a dark place and now it's just on fire, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. The um, other question when you said you didn't care about the scorecards, but I was just puzzled. You weren't throwing a lot of punches at all. I mean, you were sitting there. I thought maybe you start throwing the right hand and try to break something open, but you didn't do it. Why would you be so economical with the punches and, and wait and so patient? I had, I had to do with a, with a fighter like Ortiz that had 500 fights. You, you, you gotta be smart with a fighter like that. You just can't go in and do anything with him. And um, I knew that coming in from the first time I fought. I knew that in coming in, um, I knew that I couldn't rush it. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wear him down a little bit. I wanted to measure him. I wanted to go different angles at him. I wanted to see how he react when I do this, how he react when I do that, you know? And, um, and most of all, I just wanted to have fun in there. And, um, and I think I accomplished you know, everything tonight. And uh, when I actually found the shot that I was looking for, bam, baby, good night. <laughs> well, congratulations on the victory. Can I get Last time we had a truly big heavyweight title from the in the U.S. I started to lose my chance. And your fight with David Lesson was big and not quite to that level, of course. How big can this rematch be, especially after this high level knockout, another one of you? I think, I think due to the controversial um, uh, decision that was, uh, uh, you know, that was made and, and people going back and forth, I think it's going to be even bigger uh, this time around. You know, uh, it, it, both of us, you know, promote, promote fights well. You know, we both can talk, and uh, I think that's what people want to see. 
you know, and uh, so I'm looking forward to it. it you know, we don't, you know, that's one of the things you just don't know until it happens. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to great numbers and even bigger uh, the second time than the first time. You now have two rematches, the burn in the first round goes the distance, you knock out in the first round, or TG knock out a couple of rounds sooner. Is there any way that you can your mind last the distance again? You know, I've never been good with predictions. You know, that's one thing about, one thing about me. But uh, like I said before, don't believe it. You just never know what's going to happen until it happens. And that's the amazing thing about me, you know. Uh, every, every fighter that fights me, they, they, they put up an amazing fight because they know what they came for. You know, their life is built on the line. You know, and, and, and you must say it because I am the most devastating knockout artist in, 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 in the heavyweight division um, by far. And when you fight me, you got to be careful, you know. And, um, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to, you know, fighting a lot of the top guys in the division. Uh, I said I only have six years in this sport that I want to dedicate my, my love, my energy, and passion to, and I mean that. So, you know, I ask everyone, give me my, my roses right now. You know, give me my respect and my credit right now. You know, uh, you know, I am here and I ain't going nowhere. My style is here, what I bring to boxing is here, and I ain't going nowhere. You know, people always talk about skills and skills and skills. But as I can see it, I'm still undefeated. I'm knocking out everyone in our face. And these guys that have skills, they can me. So I mean something something got, you know. <laughs> I mean it speaks for itself. So at this point in time, I need my due respect, please. Yeah, okay. Congratulations. Uh, you talk about the due respect, but a lot of people don't have to rank in the top 10 pound for pound. But is there a message that you have for those people? Do you think you belong in that pound for pound list? You know, when they're dealing with pound for pound, pound for pound, I really don't, I, I don't think it belongs in the heavyweight division. We stay at one division. You know, we can't go up and down like all these small guys. So, you know, I don't really consider us really having a pound for pound. And you know, for, you know, you always gonna have people say this and say that. You're gonna have people that like you, you're gonna have people that, that don't like you, man. That's just part of life in general. You know, and you know, I, I, I never worry about the things that I can't control or uh, what people see and what they don't see, you know. At the end of the day, you're gonna pay to see me win, you're gonna pay to see me lose, but at the end of the night you're gonna get a, gonna get a great fight. Other question for you is, uh, in the Tyson Fury fight, you said the mistake that you made was celebrating too early when you were the drop. When you knocked down Luke Ortiz, you kind of celebrated the game. Was there any concern that you might get up after you dropped it? With the Tyson Fury thing, my only, my only uh, mistake that I made in that fight was not being patient. You know, I felt at that moment in time I had the world in my hands. I, I, there was light shined on the heavyweight division, and we brought a lot of people out. So. I wanted to do something that I know that I always do, you know, and that's knock them out of a devastating fashion. And I also learned, you know, early in my career that when I rush it, it never comes like I want to. And I, I rushed it. I kept rushing it, kept rushing it, kept rushing it. And it wasn't coming when I wanted to until the last inning, you know. So that was the only mistake that I made uh, in that mistake, in, in that fight. What was, what was the... Did you think that was going to be a chance to get it open? Oh, uh, um, the way that he fell, you know, and the way that he fell and the way his body language was uh, was looking, you know, it was a it was a, it was a it was one side of me like man, he can't get up, and then you know I looked back again to make sure that he wasn't getting up. <laughs> and I think the referee did a great job of stopping that fight. If we would have had him in the Fury fight. We wouldn't be talking about the Fury right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the answer, right?